my work is, involves biological control of weeds. So that's using insects to control uh, weeds in Hawaiian forests. And um, so our targets include strawberry guava and, and many other ecosystem altering weeds in the Hawaiian Islands. Some of our worst invasive weeds in Hawaiian forests include strawberry guava, this tree, um, myconia, uh, clydemia, this plant here, uh, in the family Melastomataceae. There are many serious invaders in that family. This is very typical of the way strawberry guava invades in, in thickets of uh, small stems shooting up all over the place. And so they're blocking out the light for the, the native understory. And so we get very little native uh, regrowth of native plants in the understory. It's just all strawberry guava. The stems are, are, are slender and they fall over and they'll take root in the ground and, and send up new shoots. So you, you develop a very thick uh, tangle of, of stems over time. And essentially it becomes impenetrable. So our intent with the biocontrol is essentially to restore the balance uh, to the system with a natural enemy for strawberry guava. Here in Hawaii it has no natural enemies. So bringing in that specialized agent uh, will help limit the invasiveness of strawberry guava. Some invasive species uh, are valued um, in uh, Hawaii and elsewhere. For example, uh, plants like strawberry guava uh, create fruit that some people eat. Um, so. Uh, there's concern that the biocontrol might wipe out strawberry guava and, and eliminate that fruit source. But we've actually, the biocontrol that we've uh, developed for, bio, for biocontrol of strawberry guava is uh, not going to kill these trees. It's just going to limit their fruiting, uh, limit their growth, their ability to spread into the native forest. The biocontrol for strawberry guava is an insect that's native to Brazil. It forms galls on the the new leaves, so it would be feeding on this part of the plant. Um, and as the leaf grows, the gall grows, uh, and that slows down the overall growth and reproduction of the plant. In Brazil, you don't see strawberry guava being invasive. It's very limited in distribution. Um, it still produces fruit there, and the, the, some people enjoy the fruit, but um, it remains a uh, harmless native plant in its native range. Our work involves is, is developing the biocontrol agents, um, so that means doing the research to demonstrate the specificity and the impact that they have on the plant. And then we turn over that information to the state and, and the regulatory agencies who evaluate whether the biocontrol is suitable for introduction. And, uh, and if they decide that it is okay to release it in the state, then we help them with that process and uh, do the follow-up monitoring, which is really critical to understand whether the biocontrol is, is having the effect that we intend. And we're not in every case going to solve the problem. Uh, a weed like strawberry guava is going to persist in the areas that it's already invaded, so it's going to take other management approaches combined with biocontrol to solve the problem. So for example, in a thicket of the forest like this, these trees will not be killed by the biocontrol, uh, but their growth will be slowed. And if uh, resource managers do come in and, and cut these trees, then their, their ability to respond and regrow will be limited by the biocontrol. So hopefully by combining these different strategies over time, we'll be able to actually restore forests um, and uh, and really beat back the invaders. So that's the long-term goal.